心。Would you like to have your audience label specific parts of an image? Use the WooClap label an image question. Its purpose? Letting you create an exercise that will challenge your audience's visual recognition or memory. With this question, you can assign labels to different parts of a picture beforehand and let your participants fill in the correct words associated with each zone. My name is Kieran, Customer Success Manager at WooClap. And today, I'm going to show you how the label and image question works in three simple steps. Let's choose the label and image question type by clicking on its logo in the central banner. Once you've entered the question editing interface, the first thing to do is to upload the picture you wish your audience to work on. Click on Upload an Image, then choose the picture you would like to import into WooClap from your computer files. Once a picture has been uploaded, you can type the question instructions at the top here and assign one or several labels. The labels that you add next to the numbers correspond to the number in the blue bubbles on the image. Here, I'm going to type aorta and then move the label to the right place on the image. The same goes for pulmonary artery. Take my label and drag and drop it to the correct area on the image. You can add as many labels as you want. You can also directly click on the picture to create, move, and fill in a new label. For instance here, I can add the right atrium. You can also add synonyms for each label. For instance here, I can allow artery as a correct answer. This will allow you to set multiple answers as correct and give your audience options to choose from. Lastly, here's a nifty trick for you. You can also blur a part of the picture if you want it to be hidden. Simply click on blur an area and define the zone that you want to hide. Once you've launched your question and your participants have answered, click on the check mark symbol on the left then, on each one of the labels to display the correct answer. The label and image question is very useful for physics or biology classes, as we just saw, geography classes, like in this case, to name African countries, history classes, by giving your students the possibility to fill in timelines, like here, for example, the timeline of the history of European Union. Or in a business setting to have your audience fill out a SWOT analysis framework as shown here. And that's it. Now, thanks to WooClap, if you have a question, you can put a label on it.